Meantime, down in Cincinnati, the largest public corruption trial in Ohio history is taking place. News 5 State House reporter Morgan Trow is there and tells us an executive for First Energy was first on the stand today. Ready for another day? Ready. After a long first day, the public corruption trial against former House Speaker Larry Householder and former GOP lobbyist Matt Borges continues. Was it politics as usual or was it something slimier? First Energy Treasurer Stephen Staub took the stand. His company is accused of bribing the defendants with $60 million in exchange for a $1.3 billion bailout to help their struggling corporation. He told the court that, quote, the company was just bleeding cash, end quote, and was looking for any option to relieve pressure from the board. Constitutional law expert Jonathan Enton says the utility company made an agreement with the prosecutors. First Energy has admitted that it made unlawful payments in connection with the HB6. The government won't prosecute if First Energy cooperates with the investigation. Plus, it must pay a $230 million fine. In cross-examination, Householder's attorney argued that First Energy also makes campaign contributions to lawmakers it feels would align with its values, something legal. And the trial is just starting to heat up. FBI Special Agent Blaine Wetzel is testifying. This agent's testimony will be pretty significant to the outcome of the trial. If the agent's testimony persuades the jury that what was going on here was that First Energy was buying the defendants, then that will not bode well for the defense. Wetzel will be on the stand for the next day, possibly longer. But Enton says other important witnesses are coming up. Both co-conspirators who pleaded guilty will be testifying against Householder and Borges. But there's one that could top it all. He's talked with his lawyers about the advantages and disadvantages of, of getting on the stand. And presumably, Householder has decided, I'll take my chance. The trial is set to continue for the next six weeks at the federal court in Cincinnati. I'm Morgan Trout reporting.